Now, here's the big discovery, and it was interesting when this first happened because this is an old slide of mine. This slide is probably, oh boy, uh, we're 2014. This slide's probably seven years old at least. So when I was showing this slide and witnessing to people like at work and wh wh whatnot, first of all, it's a, now it's become our great missionary lizard because people are shocked to see that we're finding soft tissue in dinosaurs. When we first discovered this, the evolutionist ex, uh, explanation was, you're just finding, bio, you're finding biofilm. It's, you're not finding the original material. It's still a fossil. So, I don't know, about five years ago, they actually extracted this soft tissue. That's out of a T-Rex bone. There's no way that thing is millions of years old. So here's what Mary Schweitzer said that uh, the doctor who found that. It was totally shocking. The finding certainly shows fossilization does not proceed as science had assumed. Discover Magazine said it was her dangerous discovery. I mean, it throws the whole paradigm of dinosaurs uh, being millions of years old. It's a, it refutes it. You know, they're still in denial because they bowed evolution. But this is powerful evidence. And, we just, and it keeps getting worse for them. I mean, we've got tissue from an 80 million supposed year old hadrosaur. And now we've got amino acid chains that, chains that have been sequenced at Harvard University. Harvard University now agrees it's not original material. They're totally on board. Ten of the bits, bigger universities in the country all agree it's original dinosaur material that they're finding, not this biofilm. Remember, uh, well, there's a 70 million year old mosasaur that they found tissue from. And then remember Archaeopteryx? They said that that was an evolutionary intermediate between dinosaurs and birds. Well, now this thing's supposed to be 150 million years old, but they found soft tissue in remnants of the feathers. It, it can't be that old. That stuff breaks down very rapidly. And, and you know, the evolutionists just don't get it. But here's, you know, let's look at it. And, you know, here's evolution versus creation predictions. Let's look at this again. This is on Rational Wiki. And I've actually been showing this slide now for a year, and I forgot to update the date. I guarantee you this is still on Rational Wiki. I updated it for that high school talk I gave. So here they are. They say that, okay, here's a prediction. You shouldn't find any DNA in dinosaur bones. Because they say, if fossils of the dinosaurs were less than 6,000 years old, detectable fragments of DNA should be present. Okay? And they admit up here, science has shown under very, very favorable conditions, I mean 15 degrees, neutral PhD, all these things have to be very favorable. They figure, and those are in the, themselves are still pretty favorable assumptions for them. They admit that after 100,000 year, years, there should be no DNA left. It has a very short half-life, like 500 years. DNA breaks down very easily. So here's Rational Wiki saying that, okay, here, hey, you know, there's no way dinosaurs are, you know, are, uh, recent, 6,000 years old, because, hey, they should, you should find DNA in them, and you're not. So here they admit the 100,000 years, and they say you should not find any detectable fragments of DNA. Guess what the journal Bone reported in January of 2013? These data are the first to support preservation of multiple proteins and to present multiple lines of evidence for material consistent with DNA and fossils. So much for another prediction of evolution and, and another prediction of creation that's come true. We found DNA in, in dinosaur bones. There's no way that dinosaur bone is millions of years old. The evolutionists are admitting it right here when they say that it can't last 100,000 years under favorable conditions. I'm surprised they haven't torn down this webpage, but I'll keep showing it until they tear it down. <laughs> 